Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we join designer Nick Olson at his client's Upper East Side apartment. Nick is known for interiors that, despite being inspired by the past, are made new with whimsy and humor. Here, Nick made the home's classic layout feel fresh with bold color and pattern. This begins the moment you enter and continues through virtually every room. Perfectly located across from Central Park, this three-bedroom apartment is truly filled with vibrant surprises at every turn. Take a look. Hi, I'm Nick Olson. I'm an interior decorator and welcome to my client's apartment on Fifth Avenue right on Central Park. In terms of style, I'm definitely a maximalist, but I'm also a classicist at heart. At the end of the day, as long as it's pretty and chic, I'm game for it. This was really a dream project for a dream client and I can't wait to show you guys around. For the entryway, I really wanted to play up the art deco glamour of this apartment and also create some drama. A lot of people don't realize that a front door can actually be its own design element, so I upholstered this one with leather and polished nickel nail head trim. I like to think it shows you mean business whether you're coming or going. It's in the entry that you see my first pop of real color, this day glow yellow green ceiling that plays up the cove molding, and it only gets more dramatic from here. For any living room, I like to start from the ground up. So once I found this 19th century Sultanabad carpet, I knew what the color scheme would be. But honestly, the first thing you notice here are the mirror shiny blue lacquer walls. I wanted to maximize all light possible, so it really acts as a mirror throughout the room and the entire space. In a room this size, I like to create multiple seating areas. Honestly, I've never met a chair I don't like, and I brought in many styles and examples here. And don't forget to balance all your seating, especially your solid seating, with your pattern throw pillows. An open plan like this is ideal for entertaining, and you can't entertain without food, so let's go check out the dining room and the kitchen. This small dining room was originally completely open to the hallway, so I added this cased opening here to further divide the space. Dining rooms really only serve one purpose, which is of course to eat, so you might as well have something pretty to look at. So here I chose this hand-painted Chinese wallpaper by de Gournay. It's like spring in New York City all year round. My client is a great collector and he loves china and porcelain, so we added this Regency style cabinet. Above the cabinet I hung an Art Deco style mirror, which is convex and reflects both the wallpaper and my client's collection of artwork. Space is always at a premium in New York City, so I love features like this concealed wet bar off the dining room. It houses everything you need for a cocktail party. When I first saw this kitchen, it was your standard white cabinets, white marble counters, but it didn't suit my client and it didn't suit the rest of our schemes. So I lacquered the cabinets this rich wine red. It's both practical and stylish, which is what I think every good kitchen should be. But even in a fabulous kitchen like this one, nobody wants to see dirty dishes piling up, so we continued the wallpaper to a concealed door that completely closes off the dining room. I think we've seen enough excitement in these public areas of the home, but I want to show you where my client really likes to kick back and relax. Every home needs a place where you can curl up and watch TV, but this den also doubles as a guest bedroom. Wall-to-wall -wall carpet can get a bad rap. It often feels suburban, but here I've used wall-to-wall -wall sisal as a backdrop for this beautiful antique Chinese carpet. I also use wall-to-wall -wall sisal in the master bedroom. Taken together with the den we just saw, this master bedroom really creates a suite, like you're in a five-star hotel. I use the same window pane plaid, a wool suiting fabric throughout the room, on the curtains, the walls and the king size headboard to create a sense of cohesion. My decorating hero Albert Hadley once said that every room needs an element of red in it. Here there's more than just one with a red leather settee, slipper chair, throw pillows and a red Japan chest. I even had the doors painted the same shade of red. Overall this master bedroom feels luxurious without feeling too fussy. Upper East Side homes tend to be traditional, but while I love classic decorating, I've really gone wild here with color, pattern, and texture, and I'm proud of the work I've done. Thanks for joining me, and I really hope I've inspired you to take risks in your own home.